Hello, good evening students. So that you know myself, Shoykat Mitro. So already we have started our second chapter, Components of Food. So very first day I have discussed about the table of uh, the vitamins. So five columns were there. So you have learned name of the vitamins and their functions, their deficiency diseases, so their sources. So such type of things you have learned already. So today also you will learn about the table of minerals. So from here you will learn the name of the minerals, their functions, deficiency diseases, their sources. So about this you will learn and their symptoms also. So let's come to the main point. So we will start now. Let's see. So very fast we will learn about iron. The mineral name is iron. So source over here are eaten green leafy vegetables. So maximum green leafy vegetables that we are eating every day. So from there you will get the iron and dry dates in Bengal it is called khejur. Then jajeri, gur, banana, legumes and meat. So legumes means leguminous plants that pea is a kind of leguminous plant so from there also you can get iron so these are the main sources basically from where you can get the mineral iron then if in your body there is a deficiency of iron so then you may face the disease it, uh, it name is anemia so if you will not eat such type of food sources then there should be the deficiency of iron in your body and you may face this type of disease like anemia. Then symptoms, what will be the symptoms of anemia? If uh, anemia will be there in your body, then which kind of symptoms you may face? It may be like pale look. Pale means in Bengali it is called chakashi. So your body should become pale. So pale look first of all, then tiredness. So you will, you will feel tired, tiresome. So, if you will work less but then also you can feel tired so that is called tiredness or tiredness then loss of appetite means you will face the less hungerness so loss of appetite means you will not feel that i want to eat so after getting less food also you will not feel that you are hungry so that is called loss of appetite then if you will get iron in your body so what kind of functions it will work in your body first of all essential for the formation of hemoglobin so that you know this term hemoglobin hemoglobin is a kind of red pigment we, due to this hemoglobin your blood color becomes red it's called red pigment because in hemoglobin there is iron and due to this presence of iron the color of blood is red so if you will get more amount of iron or sufficient amount of iron in your body then you will not face such type of anemia type of diseases so it is very much essential in your body to form hemoglobin it's a red pigment means come to the next mineral which is calcium so here we will see about calcium sources are egg milk cheese meat means if you will eat such type of uh, food sources then you will get calcium then if in your body there is a deficiency of calcium so it means if you will not eat such type of food sources then you may face the deficiency disease like hypocalcemia hypocalcemia means decay of teeth and bones so if in your body there is less amount of calcium then your body may face decay of teeth and bones and the particular disease is called hypocalcemia due to the deficiency of calcium now we will see which type of symptoms you will see in your body or you will face first of all your bones becomes weak weak bones as well as your teeth so your bones becomes weak as well as your teeth due to absence or less amount of presence of calcium in your body next functions of calcium for strong bones and teeth means 
to make strong your bones and teeth proper or sufficient amount of calcium is highly required in your body let's come to the third mineral which is phosphorus so its sources are cheese nuts milk cereals and pulses so if you will eat such type of food sources then you will get phosphorus from there then if your body will face any deficiency disease means if your body uh, in your body there is lack of phosphorus then it may face the deficiency disease like rickets basically for the children rickets basically for the children then its symptoms weakening of bones and teeth so for the children basically their bones and teeth becomes weak that is the main symptom for the disease like rickets then the functions of phosphorus it will be like for strong bones and teeth so you have to get sufficient amount of phosphorus in your body basically for the children to make the bones and teeth strong now come to the fourth mineral which is iodine which is iodine so iodine in food sources are like iodized salt which is the main source iodized salt the salt sodium chloride the normal salt means natural salt which you are getting or having every day in your food which is the main food source for the iodine along with that fish seafood these are the sources for iodine then if in your body there is not sufficient amount of iodine then your body may face the disease like goiter that is called goiter then what are the symptoms for the goiter enlargement of thyroid gland in your body there is a thyroid gland its a name of the gland is thyroid and it becomes enlarged or the size becomes uh, enlarged so enlargement of the thyroid gland then the functions for this iodine which is proper working of thyroid gland means if your body having the sufficient amount of uh, phosphorus uh, iodine sufficient amount of iodine then your the proper functioning of thyroid gland should be there means your thyroid gland should work properly okay our next mineral is potassium and sodium so i have written over here two minerals together potassium and sodium so their food sources are like salty food basically cereals and pulses fruits and vegetables so i'm repeating it again salty food cereals and pulses fruits and vegetables these are the sources of minerals like potassium and sodium so that deficiency diseases will be like hypokalemia due to potassium and hyponatremia due to sodium hypokalemia due to potassium and hyponatremia due to sodium these are the deficiency diseases next their symptoms will be like general weakness generally will feel weak that is called general weakness and dehydration dehydration means the amount of water that contains in your body becomes less that is called dehydration so now the functions of potassium and sodium in your body will be like essential to maintain water balance in body proper functioning of muscles and nerves and healthy bones basically these are the main functions of these two potassium and sodium then come to the then come to the last mineral which is magnesium which is magnesium its sources are like green leafy vegetables cereals chicken fish green leafy vegetables cereals chicken fish these are the sources of magnesium then their deficiency diseases will be like weak muscles and nerves weak muscles and nerves hypertension diabetes so very common uh, diseases you have heard i hope you have heard these diseases hypertension when any person will tend will become tense 
uh, means more and more pains that is called hypertension and diabetes. Then symptoms will be like not actually for these type of diseases symptoms means other um, many more diseases are possible due to lack of uh, magnesium in your body. So few symptoms are due to your loss of appetite and sleeplessness. So loss of appetite and sleeplessness. So you will not feel too much sleepy. So that is called sleeplessness and its functions means magnesium its functions be like it regulates functioning of muscles and nerves in your body regulates functions or functioning of muscles and nerves in your body so what are the main things you have learned so maximum minerals we are getting from basically the fruits and vegetables so basically green leafy vegetables so i want to say that ultimately so all the students please regular basis try to eat different types of fruits and green leafy vegetables to get all sorts of vitamins and the minerals to become healthy so up to this so students today up to this so wait for my next class i hope all of you will enjoy the class so next day with different topics again i will come so have a nice day thank you